much better is this? Well, you're here. Is it spectacular? No. Oh. Your voice is gross. Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more <laughs> juicy content. <laughs> Thank you to our esports and Patreon. Follow us Twitter accounts. Indeed. Hit the like button. You Patreonites. You Patreon. Pa pa patriot. You patronizers. Uh, how dare you patronize me? Seriously. Uh, Come on over to Patreon and patronize us. <laughs> or patronize if you prefer it that way. Welcome back. Today we're doing a movie review. And today we got a, I believe it's our first Marathi film of this year. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, but it came out last year. Just uh, like your mom. Just uh, I don't remember that. You don't? Uh, yeah, she's a lesbian now. But it's called Atamama Atamama Pamphlet. Yes. Mama. I'm Atamama Pamphlet. Atamama Pamphlet. Oh, Atamama Pamphlet. The Atamama Pamphlet. Ooh. Uh, the Atamama Pamphlet. Ooh. Uh, um, yeah. I like it. It uh, came out last year in 2023, directed by uh, Ash Ashish Bende. Bende. Uh, written by Pra. Pr Paresh Mokashi. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then uh, a whole bunch, an ensemble, uh, a big ensemble. Yep. A big ensemble, including a bunch of yep. children. Yep. Um, but uh, it, it just came out last year. But uh, it, it came out a good, decent time last year. So this will be a hundred percent spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, it's only an hour thirty. You can watch it on Z Five. Uh, at least here in America, you can. I'm assuming it's the same in India, so you can go check it out that way. Rick, your initial thoughts of Ama to Mama pamphlet. Ah, to Mama pamphlet. Uh, I I really enjoyed Ah to Mama pamphlet. Uh, it is. How would you pronounce it? Uh, it's, you, you just take one of the ma's away. Atma pamphlet. Atma pamphlet. Yeah. Atma pamphlet. You added a ma. Okay. A mama. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I I I. It's original. Yeah. Um. It's a really funny and pretty insightful satire uh -huh. uh, that's both about society and politics. And yes. uh, it's, it's obviously the, the primary story is a coming of age story. And I, I saw a couple of reviews and that was the only takeaway they had, which was a little bit disappointing because this, this, the cinematic IQ of this goes way beyond just a coming of age story. <laughs> it's satire with... Uh, I feel it's more of a satire than a coming it, of it, age. Yeah, it is. It is more satire. Uh, I thought it's driven by great direction and interesting editing. It's just an original thing, and the kids are fun, and I really enjoyed it, and I would recommend it, and I'd, I'd watch it again. Yeah, the uh, when I finished, I was like, what a fun original happy film. Yeah, <laughs> you with, a, with a very good message. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you don't get... like the. It was just overwhelmingly positive almost the entire time yeah you don't get film I, obviously there's satire and and tongue-in-cheek obviously uh throughout the film it's about casts and so there was probably even more that we didn't pick up on yeah in terms of the spe specificity and even more specificity. yeah it's about cast um, it's about it's about basic discrimination yeah. in any context whether it's men and women uh children and adults family members your political structure yeah. your religious beliefs it really kind of hits all of them yeah yeah um and so there's there's a lot going on there, but then it, it's it's quirky. Yes, it's like especially like the ending. Uh, <laughs> I, I love I it. love the ending. It just kept getting progressively f like. When we get into spoilers, funnier. we'll talk about that. Well, we are already in spoilers. Oh, okay, this, we this are. One hundred percent. Okay, so from the 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 him getting hit by the truck yeah. till the end was just and just straight up saying to the audience okay so this is what you thought would happen we're at the climax yeah yeah we had conflict now it's the climax and then we'll give you the resolution it just kept stacking on yeah, stacking oh yeah on right stacking. on top of it. you thought it was going to be this no thought it was going to be this no i like girls yeah that could happen too uh, <laughs> aliens <laughs> i loved it <laughs> yeah it was very it was very original um and i would even say like if i would we would have seen this last year this probably would have been Maybe even in my top five of last year. Obviously, it's hard to beat out the the big three juggernauts of last year of Twelve yeah. Fail, yeah. Cuff All the Core, yeah. um, um, three. Obviously, I loved Rocky or Ronnie in terms of an entertaining film. Uh, but this, I think, would have maybe been number five, maybe on my yeah. list. It's one of the best uh, of the year, and I was thinking, and this isn't saying much, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just the reality of the quality 
comparatively that what was selected as the submission, <laughs> this is this is better than oh, that. Oh, easily. Um, but I, I, it is in my top five. I don't. I don't think this is a better film per se than the other ones yeah, that you just yeah, mentioned, yeah, yeah. but it's definitely one of the best of last year, not too arguably in the top five and a really, I just, I feel this sense of rooting for the Marathi industry so much because yeah. they, they do the same kind of consistent original storytelling that Malayalam, Malayalam does, yeah. but they don't seem to get the attention or the respect that the Malayalam industry does. Yeah, and I, I hope, I hope they just continue to keep doing what they're doing because great work will eventually be noticed. So don't stop doing what you're doing. Yeah. Um, did we watch anything in our top five? I think we watched every single one of our top five films. If we include this, three of us, Kothal, Kothal the core. Twelfth fail, and what would be the other one? The theater one, the theater group. Oh uh, no, but that was that's a this year film. Too. Oh, I keep doing that. But, that is, but we watched those all simultaneous. That's why uh, for me, I keep thinking of it. I think you had well Jorum, Berlin, Berlin, but we watched those last year. Yeah, so and Jorum. At least four of our top five of last year we watched in 2020 yeah it's true we didn't get access I'm, this definitely didn't come here well that's what happens i mean we're we're still waiting for mamoudi's film because the 15th, the 15th by the way yeah i saw that yeah, we're, we're still waiting for that and that's that's just what happens it's very rare that production sends us a screener or does something where we can go to a screener and there's just yeah. so many films un, unless it is a big juggernaut or has Hindi or Telugu as the primary audience members, it doesn't get wide distribution yeah. in America. Tamil will get more than Malayalam, obviously. Yeah. But not as It'll much be as Telugu. Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, and then occasionally, rarely, you'll get a Malayalam film rarely, that gets a very rarely. Very, very rare. Um, but yeah, so the this entire film. And then the rest of the industries, forget it. Marathi, Canada, Bengali, whatever you want to name, Gujarati, the, those, those don't appear on screens. Yeah. Here. So this film was so interesting because. At first, you're like, okay, because it's going to be a one. The, the narration voice sounds like Nawaz, Nawaz right? For a split second, I so, thought it was Nawaz. Is Nawaz? He's done Marathi films, I believe. So, is this where he's from? And is is that why it was familiar? Because the dialect is where Nawaz is yeah, from. Yeah, it sounded so much like him. I was wondering. Yeah, I was yeah. like, that. It's not Nawaz, but it sounds like where Nawaz would be from. Whoever this narrator is, yeah. Um, but anyways, it's so it started and it was about this kids and it's kind of a love interest. And I was like, oh, this is cute, be cute. This is gonna be. I love it. It immediately starts off very original, very quirky, um, very cute little love story. And then it got really like when all the kids got together and they all started getting angry because they were all different religion. Like, oh, these burned down the temple. Oh, end of school. <laughs> um, and then they all was like, whoa. We're all... Then they got in the big fight because they're all different castes or religions. And and then they're like, why are we doing this? Right. We're we, brothers. We all bleed red. I loved brothers. <laughs> that run through all the way up into the dictator saying brothers. And it's obviously all very tongue in cheek because it's like telling the audience, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what we're doing. Yeah. Here. Can't we all get along? Yeah. Uh, but it, it works. Obviously when, when you, when you make a film and you're, you're trying to be obvious and you're, and you're in the messaging and kind of winking without looking at the camera, fourth wall break, this is, this yeah. is kind of what we're doing in a funny way. Yeah. That's like a social satire. Exactly. It has on many things. It has profound messaging wrapped in social and political satire. It, it, it's it's great and silliness and yeah. so like any time there was any ever a conflict and they started questioning they're like no and you guys I, we're all one here i also love the way that it takes because this is often the case but this one was so blatant how it takes the coming of age story from this boy's perspective how he sees a link because we all feel this way when we're growing up the world revolves around us mm -hmm. i mean is there anything other than me and, you know, and how every event that was going on in India clearly was connected to his life and how he began to think, well, if this has happened to me, then clearly something wonderful is going to happen in India. Yeah. I've loved that. I think it was, like he said something was like, I drank for the 32nd time out of that cup or something like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. And then like, oh, that's why. And it was actually like uh, in a different way, but <laughs> kind of similar to like what Forrest Gump did with, with United States history. Yes. And how he was involved always. Because, yeah. But it was in a different way, obviously. Um, but it was 
really creative writing. Uh, I thought all the kids did very, they very did very well. well. Um, I thought they were really cute. Um, and, and obviously until the very end when all the acting got extremely over the top. It like almost when, became when the, Mel Brooks. Yeah. At when the, the end, when the generals or the different <laughs> countries were coming in and like, oh, it's off, oh, it's off, oh, it's off. <laughs> And they're it, like, no! It was. It, it, almost, bomb. it almost felt like a, an SNL sketch or something. Yeah, the bomb, and they're all laying under the bomb, and they brothers, and it blows up, and then all the world leaders are so moved by their collective sacrifice for the baby that they all start crying, and they all put down their nukes, and then the global warming changes. I loved it. Aliens. Ah, the, now that... Not- the aliens now think it's safe enough to be with the human beings because we now have our act together. I love that ending. Yeah, it was a great ending. Um, obviously, and people are like, why do you like the happy? Because this is what this was setting up for. This. Uh, entirely. Obviously, it's satire. If it was like a normal style film and they wrapped everything up in a bow that didn't establish that this is this is just quirky and funny. Um, it's like it's like enough. Princess Bride. It's like you what do you expect when you're watching The Princess Bride? It's going to have a happy ending. Yeah. And and this is even more because it, it was satire. Right. Um you're like I know exactly where you're going with this and I can't wait for it to and I did not expect the conclusion that that whole sequence was I did great. not expect which but I loved it. I was had a smile on my face for most of the film but most like, of the film. especially the end I was just like this is wonderful. You know you're you know you're enjoying a film. It's different when you're in the theatrical experience which is one of the benefits among many when you're in a theater you you're very locked into sitting in your chair and being focused and unless you have an emergency you got a pee so bad you can't sit still you get you rarely get up but when you're watching it at home there's all of these temptations to be distracted in some way to to go get a you know another cup of coffee or to this is one of those movies that was wonderful in that I didn't want to pause it I, I didn't want to stop the rhythm I really appreciated the and, and it's what, something I'd ask the director because so much of the editing choices perpetuated the rhythm of the storytelling yeah. and the the shot choices that were linked to editing and it made me want to talk to both the director and the editor but especially the director and say how how much you clearly envisioned this on the day because so many transitions took place where you had to have been thinking about the next shot when you framed that shot, a lot of the stuff where they were panning up and then the next one goes up to the up, they follow the guy and rather than have a slide change for the full scene, it's just the person's outline as they walk past the next frame comes in. Really creative, wonderful, unique, unpredictable editing choices and yeah. shot choices that that kept, that were in alignment with the quirkiness of everything else in the story. Yeah, and it was similar in um, how you sometimes see in Malayalam industry with they do the editing and there's comedy in the editing. Right. Um, and how they obviously, like you were saying, from going from one shot to the next and it's like right up on the guy's face or whatever. Right. Um, and I, I, I want to commend the the editing there as well. Who yeah, was, uh, great job. Is, uh, Ash- Ashish Pende, the director. So there is you he, go. You knew exactly, you knew exactly what you were going to do and what you wanted to do on the day. Uh, had already envisioned those, those editing choices. Uh, probably went through the script and didn't necessarily storyboard it, but was already seeing in in the mind's eye what those transitions were going to look like. It was it was exe- exemplary. I thought the um the all the kids did a very good job. They did. And once again, we've seen it a lot in Indian cinema. I feel like that kids, and you don't see it as much here. I mean, you do sometimes, but not as much. Uh, one, because I think Hollywood doesn't like working with kids very much because there's so many rules. There's a lot of rules. It's expensive and it's yeah. a pain in the butt and you yeah. have them change over time. So, and yeah, obviously, they're not always going to be the best actors because no. they're still learning. If you do have a kid, you typically have, you know, 18 uh, to look uh, younger. Uh, yeah, you have an you have an 18 to look younger and you have one of the an, an actor who's really a unicorn who is. My goodness, I'm forgetting her name. She's in The Last of Us, but we first got introduced yeah, to her yeah, in yeah, Game yeah. of Thrones. Uh-huh, yeah. The minute I saw her in the very first Game of Thrones, oh, I thought, yeah. oh, okay, well, there's that's a, she's going to work forever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I agree. They use kids a lot more, it seems, in Indian Obviously, cinema. Obviously, you don't have a union, so it's <laughs> you can use kids all day or whatever. Yeah. Uh, hopefully not. But you Yeah, know, hopefully not. Uh, but, you know, that's one of the benefits, I guess, of not having a union. And I thought they did a really good job with the transitions of age as well. Yeah, and and they making them like the, believable. They all looked like the characters. The casting. Yep. Um, and 
Yeah, it's, I just it was and great great accompanying score. Yeah, I did enjoy the score. Yeah, um, it was and hats off to just making it an hour thirty. You don't get a lot of hour thirty films in Indian cinema, but for a small film like this, that's intimate and you're just trying. You got your message across, and it's satire, and it doesn't it's go perfect runtime. It doesn't go on any longer than it needs to. Um, I mean, it, it could could it have been a little longer? I would have been had. Not had an issue, but I'm happy that they they were like I feel happy with an hour thirty, uh, especially it, with small indie films. I feel like shorter is better. Yeah, if you have a coming of age story that is loaded with as much satire as this has, if you have a longer runtime, the risk you run is the satire goes from being really workable and strong and sharp to falling flat and feeling almost like heavy handed. As in, okay, we get it. You already said that, yeah. and there was no redundancy in the satire. You don't need to everything was trimmed. It. All the fat was trimmed off. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you. I, I know the Marathi uh, people had been waiting for this one for a long time. I had gotten many, especially on Patreon. There's a couple of Marathi patrons that have been screaming for this. Keep them coming. Uh, it, I, and I looked on YouTube. Not a lot of people have reviewed this. It's because it's Marathi, and it makes me sad because they consistently put up really so, really elevative cinema and even it's the, just because it's such a the industry doesn't get the respect it deserves even some of the bigger indian review channel i don't even know if i saw a film campaign i know i i looked it up too and i was shocked to see how few I reviews like film campaign there were would have, maybe they didn't I just and it didn't sucked see it, but. i i get it's a small industry i get there's not name recognition but boy oh boy please god let us get to a place where we start to see more and more audiences and reviewers and people paying attention to things and word of mouth spreading the news about things simply because they're really great storytelling. It's crafted and put together very well like like this. This is this should be seen by more people. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about it. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, you're weird. But you know, yeah. let me know why. Uh <laughs> and uh let us know what the next Marathi film should be. Obviously. Please. Um uh, somebody said we, the last Marathi film was like eight months ago. And I'm like, there's no way that's true, but maybe it is. Was it? Um, you want me to look at the list real quick and see? I, I can't even think of what it would be. Let me see. The I last just, Marathi film. Where's my film list? Da, 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 regardless, da, da. I need to get to more. There we go. Okay. So our last on the list that I see that is Marathi. Region, 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 region. It won't tell me when we watched it, but it's going to tell me what it was. Uh, it was obviously last year. And it was... It's, it's been a while. There it is. Valvi. Husband and wife plot to kill the girl, remember? It's kind of farcical funny. It starts off with them... Uh, the one that came out last year? I think that came out last year, yeah. But Dark that was, comedy? Yeah. That was like in June. It was like, that's... Eight months ago. Nine months ago. Really? Yeah. That'd I'm be sorry. nine months ago. We're in March. I would try to get to more. Yeah. Marathi. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> I just don't re realize. Obviously, it's not as big of an industry, um, but um, it's not on purpose if it if something goes by that long. So exactly. keep reminding exactly. me. Uh, and so yeah. let us know what the next Marathi film should be down below. Yeah.